There's less than 24 hours until Game 5, and Warrior fans are getting ready. I got a pool party shirt! Ashta Goyal and her family picked up a few things at the Warrior shop at Thrive City. She says, despite the win, Game 4 was rough. It was a nail-biter. I mean, I sat there the whole time wondering whether I should have my drink, whether I should watch. It was, it was very, very close. Predictions for tomorrow? We're going to win, yeah. Always. I might have to wear these to the game tomorrow. They're, they're uh, Seth, Steph's new shoes. Mehul Goyal is a season ticket holder. He will be at Game 5. He praises shooting king Steph Curry, but says Clay Thompson and Jordan Poole need to step it up. After Game 4, is so much so much excitement. So. Any predictions? Uh, I hope we win. I think we'll win. Really excited. NBA Finals, uh, first time in a couple years. And um, yeah, it's going to be really fun. 14 year old Alexander Sankowski isn't missing out either. I got a, I got a nice Warriors shirt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he watched Game 4 on TV. He says that win keeps the Warriors' playoff chances alive. He'll be back out for Game 5. That was really big. Otherwise, I don't think they would have won the series. That playoff Al Horford? Yeah! But even in Dub Nation, you can find some enclaves of Celtic fans, like at the Connecticut Yankee Bar in San Francisco. Christine Hunt now lives in San Francisco. She spent the afternoon at the Connecticut Yankee Bar which is a sea of green on game day. Who are your loyalties with, San Francisco or Boston? Oh, you gotta go with my home team. I gotta go with my Celtics. It's always Boston. I have my 413 Western Massachusetts, uh, so for life. Anthony Mejias works at the bar and expects Monday to be packed with Celtic fans. He says game four was a tough loss. Even though Boston failed to capitalize on home court advantage, Celtic fans are quick to point out that their team does have a winning record against the Warriors and that entering game five, the Celtics are eight and three in road games this postseason. I see a Celtics win. They haven't lost back-to-back -back games this whole postseason. Third quarter, just attack, 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 and uh, come here after the game. <laughs> in San Francisco, on Sanhasia, ABC 7 News.